welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Nike Invincible 3 that have just been released a few days ago. Uh, now, I apologize if I sound a bit congested. I am indeed a bit congested. I'm just getting over a cold. I managed to pick up the dreaded Lurgy just a few days after arriving in the UK, but I have been well enough to do some easy running this week and I have been testing out these shoes. So they have kindly been gifted to me by Nike for a review on my blog. I thought I would also make a video about them just like I did for the Invincible 2. Right, so we're going to cover the basic facts about these shoes, we're going to compare them to the Invincible 2 and I'm going to give you my honest thoughts, first impressions and early days review of the Invincible 3. Let's go! Right, so the Nike Invincible 3 is the brand's newest version of the very popular Invincible range. In a nutshell, this shoe is a max cushioned running shoe for your easy runs, short or long, on the road. The biggest selling point of the Invincible is the Zoom X Foam, which is very responsive, very bouncy, great shock absorption, very like springy and it just makes your easy runs feel super smooth and comfortable. It is pretty much like running on pillows. What's good with the Zoom X Foam is that it is so responsive that let's say if you finish your easy run with a bit of steady pace or if you finish your easy run with some strides then you can totally go out with these shoes because they're gonna be able to pick up the pace with you. Obviously you wouldn't do a session with those but you know for steady pace or for some strides Absolutely fine. In terms of price, well, we are talking about £170, which I believe is a little more expensive than uh, what the Invincible 2 were. I've got my Invincible 2 here, so we are going to compare the two of them and see what has changed. Let's start with the weight. Um, the Invincible 3 are actually slightly heavier than the Invincible 2. A lot of runners were hoping for a lighter new version simply because one of the critics of the Invincible 2 was that it was a little on the heavy side for easy running shoes. I personally didn't find them mega heavy but it is true that in the pool of easy running shoes available they are definitely not the lightest and uh, well the Invincible 3 they're actually a couple grams heavier. Not the end of the world but yeah they're Still not any lighter. My camera is having a hard time focusing on this colorway. Uh, hopefully you can see there's a taller foam stack on this newer version. So they have actually added some of that magic Zoom X foam in the latest version. Another thing that's changed is the midsole, which is now a little wider on the Invincible 3 compared to the 2. You'll also notice that the waffly outsole looks a bit different. Uh, it's just a bit of a different grip. And these two elements are meant to basically add more stability to this newer version. I also added a pull tab at the back for just ease really. And also the laces are thinner in the Invincible 3 compared to the previous version. I'm personally not that bothered about the thickness of laces, but I know that it does matter for some people. Well, for instance, Ben doesn't really like the laces in the Invincible 2. It's too thick for him. He finds that he can never get the tightness right. But to me, the most noticeable change is at the back of the foot. Uh, hopefully you can see on the camera the version 2, the back of the foot here is very very padded as opposed to the version 3 it is basically a soft liner it does give the invincible 3 a sleeker look but it does also give a very different feeling um, when you're running with those especially if you've been used to the lockdown of the invincible 2. moving on to my first impressions slash early day reviews of the invincible 3 so far I've done a handful of runs with those, um, it was mainly easy pace, a bit of steady pace and some strides. I got on really well with the Invincible 2 from the get go, like as soon as I started running with those, absolutely fine, absolutely love them and I kind of expected to have the same scenario with the Invincible 3 and it was a bit different. I still very much love the Zoom X Foam. The bounce, the responsiveness, it's just like very springy, it's very comfortable, I really love it for the easy runs. But um, I think I was very surprised with the change at the back of the foot and basically the very very different lockdown. 
And with the Invincible 3, I am finding that there's quite a lot of heel slippage. So it's like my heel is almost lifting off the shoe at every stride, which is a huge difference compared to the very, very good and tight lockdown I've had with the Invincible 2 and all that padding. Um, so to me, that was the biggest surprise. And I must say, I am still getting used to that different feeling at the back of the foot. Shoes are definitely the right size. Um, the size is not the issue. It's just a different design with the sock liner and way less padding. Um, and yeah, if I'm honest, it's a bit of a downside for me. And I personally prefer the lockdown I have with the Invincible 2. And I've seen mixed reviews. Some people prefer the sock liner. Some people also experience a lot of heel slippage and do prefer the lockdown they have in the Invincible 2. But I think it's really a question of personal preferences and also getting used to it. But other than that, I think the Invincible 3 is a really good shoe. We've got obviously still the Magic Zoom X foam. We have some added stability, some extra details. And I quite like this colorway. Also, we've got some little shiny bits now, which I don't know. I think this, <laughs> this is quite a stylish shoe. Um, and I think also, if you, like me, have had the Invincible 2 and then you're moving on to the Invincible 3, obviously you're going to compare the two. And then, well, for me, I think the lockdown is such a difference that I'm still getting used to it. But if you've never had a pair of Invincible before, if you go straight to the Invincible 3 as your new pair of road running shoes, well, you will not be comparing them to the previous version. So it's going to be a bit different and most likely you'll really like them and you'll probably be blown away by the ZoomX foam. So here we are guys, these are my honest thoughts and first impressions on these shoes. I have yet to take them out on a long run, that should happen this weekend and I'll get a bit more of a feel for them for longer distance running. Um, if you have tried them, let me know what do you think. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!